Welcome back, Dragons. We are on Activity 3.1, Algebra Tiles and Combining Like Terms. As you may have seen in the previous activity, when using algebra title, tiles to model situations and expressions, it is important to have a shared meaning for each differently sized algebra tile. Your teacher will hold up differently sized algebra tile and tell you the conventional value of each. Number one, sketch each tile and record its value. All right, we did this before. So I'm going to go through this quickly. But if you don't have the sketches, now is the time to take care of that. This is an X tile, like the variable X. If we were to do X times X, like on an area model, that produces this tile, X squared. This is not drawn to scale. Then we have the Y tile, which is that one. And on the area model, Y times Y also creates a, a tile that is Y squared. Also not drawn to scale. We have the gray tile, which you might recall was fits y times x. So that is the gray tile. We would write the x first, x, y. When you're working with variables, they tend to be put in order of alphabetical order. And lastly, the singular red tile represents all your constants in the algebra tile model. So a red tile, one red tile is equal to one. Next, represent each numeric or algebraic expression using algebra tiles. Write an addition expression that highlights the different tiles used in the model. Then sketch the model below the expression. So they are looking for Three. Three. And you got you at home. When we did this in class, you were very good at this. Write an addition expression for three. Was one plus one plus one. That was one tile, two tiles, three tiles. 3x. 3x is not three of these red ones times a green one. It means that I literally have three of these. One, two, three. Like that. Three of those. So that addition sentence is x plus x plus x. That's because the invisible coefficient here is 1, 1, 1. When you're combining like terms, you're adding the coefficients as long as the variable is the same variable to the same power. The model for this, x, 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 3x's. 3x squared. That's when you bring out the x squared tile. So I need three of these to illustrate 3x squared. 3x squared. x squared plus x squared plus x squared. Now, x's cannot be combined with x squareds. They're different tiles. They're different groupings. They would have totally different values. Let's look at at our character over here, your addition expression should have three terms. Why? That's because our constant was three, our coefficient was three, our coefficient was three. That creates a situation of three terms. One, two, three. One, two, three terms. One, two, three terms. Turning the page. All right now, you have notes on this in your interactive notebook, so hopefully you have that out beside you to help assist the learning here. Next, 
In an algebraic expression, like terms are two or more terms that have the same variable raised to the same power. That is definitely in your interactive notebook. The coefficients of like terms can be different. Let's start our exploration of combining like terms with a review of the properties of arithmetic and algebra that you will use to combine terms. The expression you wrote in each part of question two was made up of like terms. All tiles that are the same size and have the same value represent like terms. Given the algebra tile model, write an addition expression that highlights the different tiles in the model. Then, if necessary, combine like terms and write the expression using as few terms as possible. So you could start out writing this in at least two different ways. You might take a look at this and think x squared plus x squared check, plus x, check, plus x, check, plus x, check. And then I have constants here. Plus one, check, plus one, check, plus one, check, plus one, check. Okay, that would be the most expanded version of this representation of algebra tiles. But as you know, like tiles can go together in groups. These tiles are alike, and you have two of them, so that would be 2x squared. These tiles are alike, and you have three of them, that would be plus 3x. Like tiles here, all together, plus 4. Now what you're looking at it's a completely different situation. Here you, you stretched it out into every single individual tile. You had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine terms. But when we grouped things that were alike, we simplified the expression to only three terms. One, two, and three terms. 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. You're wondering how that works. These x squareds, they're one group. These x's, they consist of one group. These tiles here, and then that four is four red tiles, all alike. Good. Analyze the last expression you wrote in question three. How many terms are in your expression with the fewest terms? When we combined like groups, the fewest terms was one term, two terms, three terms. How does this relate to the algebra tile model? Well, the, we had three different groupings, three different tiles. That's how we end up with three terms. Three different sized tiles. What is the greatest exponent in the expression? Let's go examine our exponents. This one's x squared. This is x to an invisible one power. This one doesn't even have a power. This is your greatest power, x to the second power. The x squared has the greatest exponent which is 2. What is the coefficient of x, not the x squared, of x in the expression? Look up at your x. Your x is here. The number in front is called the coefficient. You had three of them, therefore your coefficient is 3. How does this relate to your algebra tile model? There were three x tiles. Right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three x tiles. Your coefficient is three because we have three x tiles. Excellent work. Let's keep going. Consider this model. They didn't put all the groups together for us. There are separated groups here. 
write an addition expression that highlights the different tiles in the model. Okay, we're going to first write our expanded version. Let's see. We could do x plus x plus y squared, but I'm, I'm going to combine some groups here. I've got two x's here, plus I've got one y squared here, plus I have one, two, three x's here, and then I have one, two, two y squareds there. In fact, I'm going to keep this color coded the best I can to help illustrate this for you. So I'm going to change this y squared to orange because we did make our y's orange. Rearrange the tiles to combine all the like tiles. How many terms does your expression have now? So right now we have one, two, three, four terms. Now we're going to put things together that are like. This guy can join these guys over here. Voila. In this group, he's like this group over here. So that would give me 5x plus how many y squared altogether? 3y squared. Write the new algebraic expression represented. We did that here. 5x plus 3y squared. When we arranged the tiles here, this looked like 5x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's when we grouped with the circles. And then we can put the y squared together. y squared, y squared, y squared. So there's your visual model of combining the like groups. Here is your algebraic expression of combining the like groups. Number six, represent the algebraic expression 3x squared plus x plus 2 using algebra tiles. 3x squared, x squared, x squared, x squared, and x. That's the rectangle, the skinny rectangle, plus 2. Those are two red squares. How many types of tiles are needed? I see three. Three types of tiles. Let's take a look at our character over here. So combining like terms means to add or subtract terms with the same variables, like 3x plus 5x, that's 8x. Notice you're combining, you're actually doing the adding of the coefficient here. You could also be subtracting, but this example doesn't illustrate that. This character, too, was talking about the like tiles. When I combine like terms using models, I just group all the same tiles together. That's important. Same tiles together. We're doing excellent. Algebra tiles are helpful tools for combining like terms in algebraic expressions. However, because they only represent whole number tiles, they cannot be used to model all algebraic expressions. Use what you have learned about combining like terms to rewrite each algebraic expression with as few terms as possible. Now would be a good time to pause the video and try these independently. When you finish, resume the video. All right, I'm going to continue. I like to look for things that are alike. These are all x's, but do notice that this one's being subtracted. If I add these coefficients, I've got 2 plus 3, which means I have 5 x's. Take away four and a half x means I only have half an x left. B. Combining things that are similar. This contains a y and this contains a y. y to the first power. Well, three and a half y plus four and a half y would make seven and a half y. Plus, now I'm looking at some constants here. I've got two and one and one fourth plus let's see two and one is three and then the one fourth three and one fourth seven and a half y plus three and one fourth now 
next. 4.5x plus 6y minus 3.5x plus 7. We've got one, two, three different kinds here. I can combine this x with this. Notice this kind of makes this a negative here. 4.5x take away 3.5x would just leave you 1x. You could write that just as 1. y is in its own category, plus 6y. And then 7 is also in its own category, plus 7. So we've got x plus 6y plus 7. Now we've got two different categories here, 3 fourths x and 3 eighths x. So this will be combined with this. So 3 fourths plus 3 eighths. We need to make some equivalent fractions here. So this is 6 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 9 eighths, which is the same as 1 and 1 eighth. So I've got 1 and 1 eighth x, and then the 2's hanging solo there, plus 2. I'm going to circle some of these answers for you. We've only got one more to go. 5x plus 2y plus 1 third x squared minus 3x. I've got x's, I've got y's, and I've got x squared. So I've got different categories here. 5x can be combined with subtract 3x, which could be like an adding a negative if you'd like. 5x minus 3x, 2x. 2y is its own thing, plus 2y. And then we have 1 third x squared, which actually will go out in front here because usually the higher powers are at the front of the expression. So 1 third x squared plus 2x plus 2y. Excellent job for those of you who joined us today. That is everything for activity 3.1. Thank you.